welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. It's Melanie and Laura, and today we are bringing you a scrapbook page. I'm actually using um, one of the Hip Kit Clubs back from October 2017. I know, it's, it's a, a little while ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a few months. It's not, yeah. <laughs> it's not years or anything. So do you do this with all of your, your kits? You section them out like this? You use a little divider and then section everything out right before you're going to do your scrapbooking page? Or do you ever do them like in advance? Or Yeah, so what I started doing, because I only started doing the Hip Kit Club back in, I think, July maybe. And so what I find is I like to use the kit for about three or four layouts. And so rather than put everything back and take it out every time, I just use one of these trays to help familiarize with familiarize myself with what's in the kit and also to help me when I'm doing a page to know what's going on like to easily access it yeah and the tray works pretty good I mean some of the stuff is too big to fit in the trays right and um but that's still pretty good I mean yeah I saw this and I'd never seen you do this before so I thought that was interesting you're so organized <laughs> I try it's not my idea other people have have used this like for instance I take everything out of the packaging I caught that from Mercy Tira and she's totally right if it's in the packaging you're less likely to use it right and um, I just adhere it to the backing so that I kind of know what's what and it's not just floating around everywhere and then just looking through the different cardstock within the paper pack and um, pulling out what I think might be appropriate. So the story for today that I want to document, it's actually a title page for an album that I'm going to do about um, trips to Southern California National Parks. I guess it's South, is it still Southern California? Which one is it? Like Yosemite and stuff? Yeah. Well, it's California. Yeah. yeah. It's, they would call it more Central California. Okay. But... So anyways, it's like Yosemite, Sequoia, Kings. Yeah. Um, that I took with my parents. They came and visited in May, and so um, I wanted to do a title page up for it. And this this particular page, with all the triangles on it, reminded me of mountains. Yeah, it does. And it's one of those funny pattern papers in that it's not a repeating pattern, and it's what do you what do you do with this, right? Right. Like, um, it's not like you can cut a small piece and have it make sense. I mean, you can, but why not use the pattern for what it is? So. My thought was to try and simulate one of the triangle shapes as best I can with a photo, and then... That's um, pretty good. Did you do that with photo editing? I did. I just used Adobe. Obviously, you didn't take the picture <laughs> that way. <laughs> the genius for today here, me. <laughs> I, I used Photoshop Elements, um, just made a triangle, and then uh, printed out the photo using it, what they call a clipping mask. Uh -huh. and um, and now I'm just trimming it out. And it's not perfect. It's, it doesn't match the triangle exactly, but it's good enough. Um, well, it matches. It may not match that triangle you're about to put it on, but it matches the other triangles in that it's a triangle, right? Yeah, so exactly. And there's all different types yeah, of triangles. Yeah, there's different sizes and stuff like that, so. Yeah. So I just, this is just a picture of um, Yosemite Falls, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah I think that's what like it's called. It. Yeah. Um, and it's quite quite far away, and that's okay because, again, this is a title page. It's an overall picture, so I'm going to have more detailed information in the album as I work on it. And um, so I'm quite happy with that. And in the kit came these alphabet stickers. These are exclusive to the hip kit. Those Club. are cute. I like those. Yeah, they're a little bit puffy. Is it is chipboard? No, I, they're like a puffy Oh, it's puffy just like sticker. a puffy sticker? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It kind of looks a little bit like chipboard. Yeah. What are you laying them down on? Is that wax paper? So I have wax paper down just so that I can move it around. And then the ruler is a new tool that I bought from We Are Memory Keepers. Hey, that's stuck on the ruler. Yes. How did you do that? <laughs> so there's a little ledge on it, and I just kind of overlap the stickers just a little bit. Oh, oh, and because the stickers have adhesive on the back, then exactly. it just stuck to it. Yeah. Duh. Tell you, I am a genius today. <laughs> So now I am giving my hand at fake script lettering. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. That's way better than what mine would look like. Um, I wanted to have, or what I've been into is is playing around with different fonts in your titles. Mm -hmm. And so I want I like, like the look of a script with a more solid or blocky letter. And um, then I wanted it to look like a die cut, so I just trimmed that out with a pair of scissors. So now... I'm just going to position this where I want it to be. 
um, because it's it's on the ruler it's it's not really sticking down to the paper mm -hmm. so you can still move it around a little bit right um, you just have to be careful of course if you've got paper like photo paper seems to be really um, it really accepts glue really well right yeah <laughs> whereas cardstock's a little bit more forgiving so right. and ideally you know you should be able to just transfer it but there's always a little bit of a <laughs> yeah but that was pretty good you were able to get it out from under there pretty pretty well yeah so I was quite happy with that and then we're just going to pop up the exploring with um, some pop dots or dimensionals and sorry for the background noise <laughs> sorry folks construction going on <laughs> can't control that part yeah exactly <laughs> Now at this point, I don't. At this point, you could be call it done. You don't really need to do much more. It is just a title page, but um, I thought it would be kind of fun to take some of these extra um, pieces from the kit and play around with the triangular theme a little bit more. And then they have the mountains, a uh, mountain um, chipboard sticker. So how appropriate is that? Right? Yeah, they look really great. I mean, all of the shapes and everything really blend well together. And this is where I would have stopped. Like that would have been. The end Enough. for me yeah. yeah and Melanie has to push the envelope <laughs> just a little bit further <laughs> well I, and I think we've talked about this before you definitely have a, a, a little bit more you know add a little bit more personality than I do yeah for me it's you're a more bit, of a minimalist yeah. yeah 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 and and sometimes you know um sometimes it's more about using the product right <laughs> that's one of the one of the um downsides of a kit is that every month you get more product Yes. And, you know, you kind of go, I need to use it. <laughs> right. Yeah. And so uh, that's a little bit of my thought process here, too, is how can I use more of this to right. make it work? Well, and I will say, even though you add more layers, it never looks overdone. Like, I, I don't think it looks overdone. You you add it and it looks good, you know, by the time you're you're finished. You try to, try to still be intentional, right? Right. Not just placing it for the yeah. sake of, of placing it. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to include some more information, like like the time frame and what parks we were. Because, I mean, California is a pretty big state. <laughs> eh. And so I just wanted to, you know, focus more on the fact that that we were exploring these these three national parks. Yeah. The label sticker is from um, Simple Stories. I, I don't think you can get those anymore either. But um, it's just a it's little a label. frame. Yeah, yeah, and it's just a little exactly. frame. Exactly. You can do that with anything, really. Yeah, and I do like playing with the edge, you know, like having stuff go off. I just think yeah. it's a little bit interesting. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed earlier, I... Um, trimmed or outlined the whole page with a blue mm -hmm. yeah. and because there's a little bit of Dutch in me I actually cut out the interior <laughs> right part so that I could use the paper for something right. else yeah <laughs> that makes sense <laughs> well it was it's a good solid color which I think is is important when you are um dealing with pattern paper you need need to have some solids every now and then yeah well and it brings out the colors on the the main page on the pattern paper out nicely it makes them pop more with the blue edge on it and those are my new favorite stickers they're by tim holtz they look like um looks like old typewriter right yeah not really typewriter the old dymo oh yes, yes you yes. know the yeah. um yeah. label maker kind of thing except uh, these are tiles those. yeah <laughs> i actually i actually since i love these so much i've gone out and purchased <laughs> yeah um purchased one of them but i do like the tile like the tile component of it yeah so I'm using that same ruler again that I used to place the California down, but now I'm just using it as a ruler as opposed to trying to put these on on the, on the, there and then trying to lay them down afterwards. Where did you get the ruler? Um, they, they come with a set. I think you, they actually have two different sets. Um, some of them are like, oh, not oval, but like, um, like curved. An uh -huh. Like an arch. Yeah, an arch or like an S-shaped and stuff like that. I just got mine on Amazon. Oh, okay. But I'm pretty sure any scrapbooking type store Who makes them. Uh, we are memory keepers. Oh, okay. It is we are memory mm -hmm. keepers. Okay. The funny part is, is that I have had a set of these for way, 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 way back in the day, like 1995 uh -huh. kind of thing. <laughs> a long, long time ago. <laughs> so this is just the new and improved, you know. Yeah, they look really cool. I have to get modern this version, I guess, of them. Yeah. So. Um, and then just taking, um, this is actually just a Sharpie. I actually don't mind using a Sharpie in my scrapbook. I don't know if it's archival, but I don't really care. So <laughs> you don't find it bleeds through. 
Um, in this case, because really there's so many layers, layers, it's yeah. not such a critical thing. If I was just doing it on a, you know, a thin sheet of paper or a single sheet, I might worry about it a little bit more. But I very rarely use the back side of a scrapbook page. Okay. I almost always start with another page. Yeah. So, um, and well, you, and that would make sense on here because it's the cover and because you've got the frame cut out anyway, yeah. so you wouldn't really see the exactly. back, right? Yeah. Yeah. And... Lots of dimension, because I just think that's interesting. So these geotags, I'm just putting on pop dots as well. Mostly it's just, you know, finding things that make sense with the theme and then um, trying to figure out how to frame things. So with the geotags, you know, I'm trying to focus on the title because this is the title page, and that's why they're positioned where they are. And, and then just balance. So I've got stuff going on down at the bottom, so I, I feel like I need something going on on the top to, to balance that. That poor little camera moved around so much. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to use, use it. it. <laughs> uh, mostly because I had some of uh, that green on the right-hand side, and it yeah. was trying to figure out where it fit to balance the green, because I didn't want to have it all in one spot. Right. Um, and then I have green up at the top in that chipboard piece too. So it was like, you know, the rule of th there's, okay. So I always say there's no rules in scrapbooking, but there are some general design rules that people talk about. One's the rule of three. The other one is balance. And then there's also using triangles to draw your eye towards things. Right. Right. So I don't quite succeed here because the triangle of the green is not actually framing anything. Right. But it is what it is. Well, and it's really triangles everywhere on this yes. page, so <laughs> it's a little bit different. Yeah. What I'm what I'm relying on more is the diagonal design of it to draw your attention from basically from the top down through the middle and then to the bottom of the page. So while I said there's rules, you know, just do what feels right. Feels right. If it looks good to your eye, then that's good enough. Right. Don't worry about it too yeah. much. And then just you know some little little um extra embellishments embellishments to um tie everything together and that's gonna do it for this week thanks again for joining us um as always check below in the description for a little bit more information on the page and the products that we used and um, please make sure to leave a comment and thanks for joining us happy crafting